In this video, you will learn how to add Frequently Bought Together option on a single product page on your WooCommerce website. You can see here two different products added to the main product, and these products are already checked. You can make it checked or unchecked by default. Thus, if someone clicks on the Add to Cart button, all these products will be added to the cart. This is different for the related products. To add a related product, customers have to visit the page of that product and add that product to the cart separately. But if someone clicks on this Add to Cart button, all the key products will be added to the cart. Before adding products to the cart, the customers can check any of the product. If they click here, they can check that product with an appealing pop-up. The customers can uncheck any product from the list and go to the other checked products. They can also increase or decrease the quantity of the products, as well as increasing or decreasing the quantity of the main product separately. And when the customer checks any of the products, the sum of the checked products will be added here. in the sum total. Let's see how to do this. Go to your WordPress dashboard. Under Plugins, go to the Add New Plugin option. Search for Bot Together keyword. Here you can see WPC Frequently Bought Together for WooCommerce. Install this plugin. After installing, activate the plugin. Now go to the products and click on the Edit button of the new product. On the Product Settings option, you can see a new menu, Bot Together. Here you can add other product with the main product by searching for keywords. You can add as many products as you need. If now you update this product, and see the product in the new tab. You can see this products updated and displayed near the main product. If you want to add an above text, then you can type in the above text box frequently bought together. Update the changes. You can see this text will be displayed about the product list. Later in this video, we will see how to change the displaying of this text. We will also discuss how to show or hide the main product in the frequently bought together product list. If you want all the products be checked by default, go to the Bar Together settings. Click on the Check by Default option and update the changes. Now we can see the products checked by default. In the Bar Together menu, you can add options for the customers so they could change the quantity of the products and also set limits for the products. Update the changes. Reload the page. You can see that the quantity of the product 
now can be increased or decreased. When the customer adds all the products to the cart and clicks View the cart, all the added products will be displayed in the cart. The customer can remove the frequently bought together products, but if the customer removes the main product, all the products will be removed from the cart. If you do not need this option, you can check Add separately in Bought Together menu. Update the changes. Now, if the customer clicks Add to Cart button and View Cart button, all the products are added separately, so the customer can delete any product from the list and it will not affect the other products. If you don't want the main product to be displayed in the list of the frequently bought together products, go to the dashboard. Under WP Clever, click on Bought Together. Under Show this item, click No. Update options. Now you can see that the main product is not displayed in the Frequently Bought Together section. Now let's see how to add an attractive pop-up for the additional products. For that, go to WP Clever Settings. Here you will find Link to Individual Product option. Here you can choose how the product will be opened if the customer clicks on it. We will enable the Quick View pop-up option for which we need to install the WPC Smart Quick View plugin. Update options. Under plugins, click Add New. Search for WPC Smart Quick View. Install the plugin by WP Clever. Activate the plugin. Now, if we refresh the page and click on the product, we can see the product displayed in a pop up. The other products from the list will be also displayed here. You can change the style of this pop-up. For this, under WP Clever, go to Smart Quick View. Under Pop-up Effect, you can change the view option by choosing anything from this list. In this case, the Zoom In option is selected. Update options. This is how the Zoom In effect of the additional product pop-up is displayed. If you want to add the additional products above text, in this case it is frequently bought together. If you'd like to make it different from the main product description text or highlight it, you have to add a simple code to the custom CSS section. For this, click Customize button on your WordPress admin panel. Then click Additional CSS and paste the custom code in the Additional CSS section. You can find the custom code used in this video in the video description. Then click Publish. If we go back and refresh the page, we can see this text is different from the main product's description.
we learned how to add frequently bought together options manually. But we can also display the related products in the frequently bought together list automatically without adding them one by one manually. For this, go to Bought Together menu. Find default products and select the related products. And Update Options. For this particular product, we have added Frequently Bought Together products manually, so the other related products are not displayed here. But for the other products, we haven't added any frequently bought together products. So if we check one of these products, we can see that all the related products for this product are added to the list. You can also change different options for this automatically added related products. For example, you can display the product short description on the list. Update options. Reload the page. Now you can see the product's short description for all the products. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Visit positivegeek.com for more interesting tutorials.